Hi everyone, welcome to the System Design Series Lecture Number Seven. In this lecture, we will cover uh, um, asynchronous communication, asynchronous communication, message queues, applications of message queues, and what happens if we don't use message queues in the real time, etc. Let's discuss about the first part of this topics. Uh, first one is synchronous communication. So, uh, what is synchronous communication? Okay. One second. Synchronous communication. So, what is synchronous communication? See, when data exchanged between two devices simultaneously. I will repeat again. When data exchange between two devices or two machines simultaneously is called as synchronous communication see let us say i will give an examples also see let's say whatsapp in whatsapp we have two types of communications also see synchronous and asynchronous see in, in let me let me consider whatsapp consider whatsapp in whatsapp uh, we can text we can do audio call we can do video call here video call and audio call are the asynchronous sorry synchronous communication text is the asynchronous communication i will tell you why when you do audio call or video call in whatsapp you have to respond immediately right what i have told you about synchronous communication synchronous communication means data to be exchanged immediately between two devices exchange of data should be should be simultaneous data exchange between two devices is simultaneous is a synchronous communication now audio and video calls in whatsapp the data to be exchanged sequentially means one after another very fast but in the case of text is a asynchronous communication now i will tell you what is asynchronous communication see one second asynchronous communication not only not only whatsapp we have google meet and uh, zoom these are also called of uh, this is also a kind of uh, synchronous communication synchronous communication needs data to be transferred immediately in synchronous communication um <coughs> also phone calls are kind of synchronous communication like when you call something when you call someone you respond immediately when they talk to you and youtube live chat when when there is a youtube live chat uh, the res the messages are one after another sequentially right this is a kind of synchronous communication now what is asynchronous communication it's it's a it's a different from synchronous communication likewise you you no need to give the reply to the person very fast means data exchange is not simultaneous as i discussed in the previous example whatsapp is the example of uh, synchronous and both asynchronous communication right in whatsapp when we text someone uh, they they can give reply to us uh, immediately or after one hour or their wish they can re give reply to us or not their wish right it's a kind of asynchronous, commu asynchronous communication they can send us reply whenever they want so whatsapp is a kind of asynchronous communication and and email email is a kind of asynchronous communication example let's consider we will, let's consider an email email see in email let's say i want to send mail to a particular person or an official person at midnight uh, 12 am the mail should be sent to that person i have already written mail or i have already written the mail at 7 pm so i have scheduled this mail to be sent at 12 am so this is a kind of asynchronous communication now 
let's discuss uh, today's uh, main topic called as message queues <coughs> Okay. Today's main topic is the message queue. So, what is message queue? Before telling what is message queue, I will tell you a scenario. What happens if you don't use a message queue in real time? Okay. Let us say there is a uh, concert. Music concert is happening in Mumbai. A R Rahman music con concert. Like uh, a. <clears throat> Let us say the event is occurring at Mumbai. They told that they release the online tickets at midnight, twelve a.m. on a particular date. So they declared in their website, it's an uh, event ticketing. It's like a event ticketing system. See, all right, event ticketing system. Okay, see, they told that. Uh, at midnight 12 am they will release the tickets and uh, all most of the audience are air rahman fans and they want to they want to visit and they want to enjoy that music concert in mumbai so they have to buy the tickets in online so okay they, let's say all all are sat at their computers or their mobiles this is let's say this is client uh, their mobiles everybody is trying to buy the tickets at 12 a.m. they release the tickets. Imagine at 12 a.m. at midnight 12 a.m. they release the tickets. So this is the server of that particular website. This is the server. So at 12 a.m. they have released the tickets, and everybody, everybody are trying to buy the tickets. But at the same time, the server is cannot cannot able to handle that request. The server is so busy. And even the server, the server may lead, server may crash. What happens if more than uh, two thousand people are uh, try to buy the tickets at the same time? So what's the solution for this? Because everybody, everybody wants the ticket for that show, uh, but the server is busy. So in this kind of scenario, message queue helps us a lot. I will tell you how message queue helps in this scenario. See. If, for suppose, if that event ticketing system, if that online uh, uh, this ticket selling system, if it uses message queue, the scene will be like this. See, these are let's say these are the clients from various locations. These are the clients from various locations, and this is the message queue. And this is the server. Whenever a client, let's say these are, uh, this is uh, uh, client A, B, C, uh, C. Yeah. C and D. These are clients A, B, C and D. Let's say these are the clients. Let's imagine only four clients. Imagine there are four clients only because of uh, no more space. I have written only four clients. Let's say A wants to buy the ticket. This is the server. A wants to buy the ticket. A have so a message will be pushed into the queue. This is the message queue. Queue. Now B wants to buy the ticket. A message queue is a message is pushed into the queue. C has to C wants to buy the ticket. Message is pushed into the queue. And D and D wants to buy the ticket. So everyone's message is pushed into the queue. So this server takes the uh, takes the these messages one by one consumes the consumes there is a process inside the server the server consumes consumes these messages and give the reply means give the feedback to the client so how this will happen let's let let's take an example see client a client a wants to buy the ticket his message is posted in this it's his message is pushed into this message queue the thing is the main advantage of this using this is message queue is decoupling guys decoupling why because 
server and client are not depend upon, dependent on each other client is not responsible for the server and server is not responsible for the client the server only give the feedback to the client see let's say uh, message uh, this client a wants to buy the ticket his message is posted into the queue he wants to buy the ticket he clicked on that button uh, buy ticket on that web on that website so his message is pushed into the queue after pushing into the queue this message a will be processed in the server whether for how this process runs whether there is whether there are tickets available or not if tickets are available he is he will be allotted but before this allotment there is a payment gateway means he has to pay certain amount let the ticket cost is around uh, 3000 i don't know how much just imagine for 3000 rupees the ticket cost is around 3000 rupees so <clears throat> after the payment is successful uh, and the tickets are also available a feedback is sent to client a because he has buy the ticket right feedback is sent to client a like in the form of sms or email email if he registered with his phone number or if he registered with mobile number sorry sorry email or google account he will get an sms or mail through through this server after the payment gate is success after the payment gateway successful and the server see once the once the message this let's say this is client says message is consumed by the server this will be deleted from the message queue after after that uh, after that uh, uh, client b uh, will be consumed and consumed and deleted deleted after c and after d uh, messages consumed so this is the process so so <clears throat> you may get the doubt that what happens if message queue is full let us say the message queue is full and there are uh, the message queue is full and there is no capacity of message queue no capacity if also at that moment more requests are coming from the clients to the uh, to the message queue but message queue is full so at that time there are different solutions like we can use another message queue the traffic is see the more load is coming right more requests are coming this is traffic and this traffic is directed to another message queue let's say if if, if this this website is using another message queue the traffic is directed to the another message queue or else it can use a load balancer it can use a load balancer like uh, if if it uses a load balancer the traffic will be directed to the different servers if it use a load balancer let's say if it use a load balancer the traffic will be directed means that whole the request traffic will be directed to the different servers or different message queues okay or else we can use cdn here content delivery networks small cache servers without going to the original server for this uh, the traffic will be directed to the this cdns content delivery networks cache servers so these are the different ways when the message queues becomes full okay i will i will tell you more uh, more things i will tell you more examples like not only event ticketing system it is used in photo customization this message queue is a photo customization message queue is an uh, e-commerce platform let me let me consider any e-commerce platform in case of e-commerce platform see this this message queue this message queue is for asynchronous communication this is an asynchronous communication now uh, e-commerce e-commerce is also an asynchronous communication see when we let's say consider any amazon amazon website you have clicked on place order or let's say you clicked on add to cart let's say you want to buy a bag in amazon you have clicked on add to cart button after when you clicked on add to cart button that message is sent to message queue right but it's your wish you can click on place order whenever you want you just add it to the cart you can you can click on the uh, place order button whenever you want right so it's a kind of asynchronous communication message queue uses asynchronous communication see here but in this case but in this event technique system this is also an asynchronous communication because immediately immediately ta text me text message of uh, means this client b's message is not responding immediately uh, client c's is not happening a has to be processed successfully from the server payment gates way has to be successful tickets has to be available all these things to be considered at once so 